Today we're doing Lesson 74 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 74. There is no will but God's. There is no will but God's. The idea for today can be regarded as the central thought toward which all our exercises are directed. God's is the only will. When you have recognized this, you have recognized that your will is His. The belief that conflict is possible has gone. Peace has replaced the strange idea that you are torn by conflicting goals. As an expression of the will of God, you have no goal but His. There is great peace in today's idea. And the exercises for today are directed towards finding it. The idea itself is wholly true. Therefore, it cannot give rise to illusions. Without illusions, conflict is impossible. Let us try to recognize this today and experience the peace this recognition brings. Begin the longer practice periods by repeating these thoughts several times, slowly and with firm determination to understand what they mean and to hold them in mind. There is no will but God's. I cannot be in conflict. Then spend several minutes in adding some related thoughts, such as, I am at peace. Nothing can disturb me. My will is God's. My will and God's are one. God wills peace for his son. During this introductory phase, be sure to deal quickly with any conflict thoughts that may cross your mind. Tell yourself immediately, there is no will but God's. These conflict thoughts are meaningless. If there is one conflict area that seems particularly difficult to resolve, single it out for special consideration. Think about it briefly, but very specifically. Identify the particular person or persons and the situation or situations involved and tell yourself, there is no will but God's. I share it with him. My conflicts about, fill in the blank, cannot be real. After you have cleared your mind in this way, close your eyes and try to experience the peace to which your reality entitles you. Sink into it and feel it closing around you. There may be some temptation to mistake these attempts for withdrawal, but the difference is easily detected. If you are succeeding, you will feel a deep sense of joy and an increased alertness, rather than a feeling of drowsiness and enervation. Joy characterizes peace. By this experience will you recognize that you have reached it. If you feel yourself slipping off into withdrawal, quickly repeat the idea for today and try again. There is no will but God's. Do this as often as necessary. There is no will but God's. There is definite gain in refusing to allow retreat into withdrawal, even if you do not experience the peace you seek. In the shorter periods, which should be undertaken at regular and predetermined intervals today, say to yourself, there is no will but God's. I seek His peace today. Then try to find what you are seeking. A minute or two every half hour, with eyes closed if possible, would be well spent on this today. That's Lesson 74, There Is No Will But God's. If you would like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.